Guess who's back, 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 back again, again, again. Guess who's back, back, back. Tell your friend, friend, friend. So as you can see by the title of this video, is how I got hired at Nene. As y'all can see, I'm wearing orange to represent. I'm gonna take you back with me. I'm gonna take you back to 2017 month, February. <laughs> Around that time I got hired as an intern, I worked with a team, a very awesome team. They gave me the chance to step foot inside the company and I worked with them and it was amazing. They showed me the ropes, they gave me advice, they told me what to do, what not to do. And mind you guys, like even prior to that of how I got this internship was because I kept doing a lot of other internships. I do recommend to always, 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 in times infinity, do internships. If you're definitely dedicated and motivated with what you want to do, do the dang internship. Now, how I got hired. So basically, I was you know, graduating college and I wanted my big boy job because, you know, I, I worked so hard for it for like a year and a half to two years. I didn't have a weekend off because I was constantly doing school, working part time and doing an internship. I went on an interview. It was literally like a five minute interview that I had with this awesome individual. She complimented my hair. I was like, ooh, she just complimented my hair. Like, that's a sign. Like, it's not for nothing. But when I was interning at Dr. Oz, I met Keenan outside before my interview. So I was like, okay, that's a good sign. She's like, I like your little wave, your hair looks really nice. And I was like, oh, thank you, Jesus. I was nervous as heck, and I was like, oh my God, okay. Brian, do not mess this up. And I'm telling you, it was like five minutes, and that's all I had. And I was just like, okay, I gotta make the best of it. I believe I did. Two weeks later, I get an email saying, I'm following up for an interview. Mind you, a bunch of people have applied for this position. And obviously, I know that there's competition, and obviously I enjoy myself a little bit of competition. So at this point, I'm freaking out, you know, got a, went to go get a fresh haircut, you know, I brushed my teeth like two times, and literally guys, I was practicing in the mirror non-stop, because I was like, I cannot mess this up. Before I went into the interview, like I always call my mom and my dad, a pedirles la bendición, which is ask for their blessing before I go in. So I call my dad. Hey pa, so I'm about to go into this interview, and I'm really nervous, so I'm calling you if you could give me your blessing. Oh, don't worry son, like, you're gonna do great, you're amazing, you're my son, and everything's gonna go great. Thanks, Dad! Guys, when I tell you my mom, I'm not playing. This lady does not play. This is how the conversation went. Hey mom, so I'm going into the interview and I'm really nervous and I don't know what to expect. So I'm calling you if you could give me your blessing. You're nervous? Why are you nervous? Because mom, you know, like this is a big interview. This is a, a very big company and I'm, and I'm nervous that, you know, I probably won't get it because a lot of people are applying. So you're calling me because you're nervous and you want me to tell you what? I'm calling you because you know you're my mom and I just need to hear that everything will be okay and you know like love me. Brian, um, right now I'm working but if you call me again to tell me that you're nervous please don't call because it's not for nothing I did not raise a little baby and I know that you could do it and you're gonna keep butt in this interview so if you dare call me again because you want to tell me that you're nervous and you're freaking out, don't call me. Matter of fact, call me after the interview because that's when I need to hear what happened. So, call me back, okay? Well, damn, can I have your blessing? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, mijito. Que Dios te bendiga. God bless you. She had no sympathy for me. She was just like, why are you calling me because you're nervous? <clears throat> Wrong. Please don't call me back. In a way, it helped because I was just like, you know what, like... I know who I am. I worked hard and I'm a kick butt in this interview. After that, I didn't hear back for maybe like another two weeks. Literally, I kid you not, the day before my graduation. I almost missed the call by the way. My phone rings and I'm like, oh, a 212 number, like that's Manhattan. And I thought it was my cousin and I was ready to be like, hey man, what's up? I am so glad that I didn't. And she's like, hi, can I speak to Brian? And I'm like, yeah, this is him who's speaking. Cause you know, around these type of things, you gotta be very like, hey, before I go all ratchet, who is it? So I asked her, I was like, who is it? And she said, hi, my name is, and I'm calling for the position that you interviewed for. And I just wanted to inform you that we would like to hire you full time. Oh 
we interrupt our program due to ugly crying faces. It was the most craziest thing because I always, like throughout my college career, I always heard students getting hired from big corporate jobs before graduation or on the day of graduation. I'm telling you, and this is where my mom's expression falls into place. I'm sure your mamas have told you before or your fathers. But when something's meant for you, dude, nothing can take it away from you because it was positioned for you. Like it was your destiny to be there and for it to happen for you. It's not for nothing, but like, my parents came to this country as immigrants and in search of a better life to be able to give them not only a graduation, but also give them the satisfaction that, you know, your son did it, like your son completed it, like at least a part of his life, he did it. It made me feel really, really happy. So, with that being said, my journey, I know it has just begun. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Thank you for listening to my story. And the advice that I want to end it with is when it's for you, it's for you. If you work hard, you will get it. Don't give up, push forward, and please, 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 please. don't forget to smile on. I love you guys so much, and thank you for watching. Mwah.